Well, this afternoon, we'll hear from the attorney of Dana Fletcher's family. You're looking at cell phone video of the moments leading up to the deadly shooting of Fletcher. That shooting, of course, happened in front of the Planet Fitness there in Madison. Madison police say Fletcher pointed a gun at officers and they had to shoot. His wife said, well, that's not entirely the case. This morning, Way 31's Rodney Ross is live at Reunited Fellowship of Deliverance, where the attorney for the family will address members of the media and community. Rania. And good morning, Pat and Marie. This parking lot is empty right now, but later today, Dana Fletcher's family will be here along with civil rights attorney Ben Crump, and they will be here to, uh, they want the Madison Police Department to be transparent about exactly what happened that led up to that deadly shooting. Last week, the Madison County Sheriff's Office finished its investigation into the deadly shooting and turned its findings over to the district attorney's office. In their investigation, they said Dana Fletcher did point a gun at Madison police officers, and that's when two of the officers fired their weapons, killing Fletcher. Fletcher's family hired attorney Ben Crump to help them get answers and to demand the body camera footage from the city of Madison. Following the shooting, Ben Crump released the statement that reads, quote, it is another example of police overreaction and excessive use of force against people of color. The department owes his family and the public a full accounting of the facts and full transparency to get answers. Now, that meeting with Crump will take place again later today at 3 here at the Reunited Fellowship of Deliverance Church. We also know that community activists have other protests planned throughout the meeting, including one that will take place sometime this morning in front of Mayor Paul Finley's home. Reporting live in Huntsville, Rodney Ross, Way 31 News.